so hi this is rashid <clears throat> so today today's video is about uh, i'm going to introduce pass gates or transmission gates this is not a, a cmos this is a different uh, way of implementing logics um, and then i'm going to show how um, we can reduce number of transistors um, with pass gates or transmission gates if you use them to implement exclusive R and multiplexers. Um, I wanted to show flip-flop in CMOS and the concept of setup and hold time and efficient implementation of flip-flops um, has a usage of transmission gates. So I thought it's a good idea to introduce that and uh, look at a couple of combination circuits. And in the next video, we'll look into flip-flop and its uh, required time. Okay, so let's get started. So the pass gates is like um, we use, as you can see here, uh, a single end mass. There's no complementary uh, end mass and B mass. So all we do is use the end mass as a switch. We can also use B mass there. But N MOS as a switch, single uh, transistor, and it's used to pass this signal. If this is if this turns on, whatever here goes here. If it turns off, this is blocked, and this will turn on, and this will drive this one. I mean, it both cannot be on same time because they cannot be drive a different logic to this uh, net. But in this case, as you can see, the bar here. And there's no bar here means this bit is inverted so when this one like um, it's like this something like this so when this one is one when B is one this is on A goes there and this one is inverted form of B so it will be zero so this is off so F is you can see and when B is 0 this one is 1 okay so 0 goes uh, so B is 1 then A goes so this is a function it's like an AND gate I mean you, you can really look at it when A is 0 B is 0 okay the output is 0 okay when B is 0, this is 1, output is 0. When A is 0, A is 0, B is 1, this will be 0 because A is passing there. So it's really, if you look at that logic, the truth table of AND gate meets here. So this is an AND gate. But look at that, this AND gate, how many gates we have? Oh, sorry, how many transistors we have? Just two. And in the other one, how many we have? The standard CMOS that we look at? It had four, so it already gives a smaller area, fewer transistor. But what's the problem there? Do you remember in the video where I was building NAND and NAR? Um, and I mentioned why we don't use, I think I mentioned in the case of PMOS, which is pulling up a node to VCC, uh, we don't use, uh, it's better to use PMOS than an NMOS. And let's say A is 1. So then in this case, we want to move 1 here. I mean, A means VDD, supply voltage, highest voltage. The And I, in that example, I had mentioned, um, it, it was the same scenario that if you connect it to VDD, and this is N mass, and which is on, and there is this node here, right? It was a capacitor connected. So when this is on, this is charging. The charging goes up, voltage goes up. As voltage goes up, uh, this one is your, <coughs> this is source, this is gate, this is drain. So gate to source difference actually decreases as this capacitor charge, as the voltage builds up. So eventually at a point when this point is VT less than VD. Or exactly.
exactly at this voltage this transistor shuts off so the maximum voltage that this point reaches is VDD minus VT and this is the problem when you are passing a VDD here or logic 1 here is not as high there is a loss of VT on this one and same case when it's zero then it's good but um, in order to address that one another solution is that you this is your n mass here okay this one you connect the same point a p mass and the logic of this thing is inverted okay so you look at it uh, if c is equal to one this uh, bubble here means uh, it's it's an n a p mass here so when c is one here this is zero here so both are active at the same time so what happens is if there is vdd here a is vdd p mass will ensure this point is goes all the way to vdd and when it's a is zero this n mass ensure this point goes all the way to zero so the deficient deficiency of this circuit are available here <clears throat> one problem is so, and this one sorry this is called this one's called individual pass gates but when they're combined like this together it's called a transmission gate typical problem with these one is is a noise when there is a noise here remember our standard CMOS was very good in suppressing noise but when these are there is no external signal is coming here and it can be noisy this circuit is not good for rejecting noise not as good as standard uh, CMOS that is the problem that's why sometimes you see when we are taping out there's an actual rule check bare pass input gates with the pass gates and when they have an input which is there is no style CMOS driving it and noise here can be a problem okay so look at multiplexer in multiplexer we have uh, a b s and we look into during the combinational circuit videos that uh, this is the implementation of that i select is one this is enabled and when it's zero this one is enabled and that is the boolean equation so how many transistors are here this one has n has six right four on the nan and then an inverter i mean i'm just assuming it's not optimized just the the basic one so six here so oh, sorry i mentioned here inverter has two n has six or has six so six six four oh, sorry six 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 two okay so there are two so it's not that one it's 6 6 12 6 18 and 20. Oh, this. on this one i'm using a transmission gate look at this one same equation but you use a transmission gate Put a b here this is our output and this one is like that this select here is the inverted form of select is connected okay so when s is one this is on when s is zero this one is on so b goes when s bar a goes when s look at how many transistors we we have one two three four and the two here in water five six six versus twenty which one would you prefer if area is your requirement so and look at exclusive R gate. Exclusive R with two inputs. Then look at this circuit A, an inverter type, but we have connected B here and B here, and we put a uh, transmission gate here with B inverted here and the normal B here. And this will you can do an exercise when A is one. This is on. Um, so 
and this point is sorry when b is 1 when b is 1 um, this is off this is this part is off so you get a inverted hmm. this is not correct oops oops sorry hey, that makes sense right okay so when b is 1 this becomes 0 it's like a vdd this is 0 it acts like a normal inverter a comes here as complemented because inverter inverts it so when b is zero this zero becomes here one the zero here is this on then a comes here and this is off so this one so how many it has one two three four and of course this five six okay uh but typically what we do is exclusive r um a goes here a dash b i think this one is incorrect too a dash b a b dash and you are then six six four two and then two here wow four sixteen twenty uh, i hope i'm doing it correctly Anyway, so the whole point is wanted to give you an idea of another uh, logic family, which is transmission gates. Sorry, and we will use them in the next video. Sorry, we will use it in the next video. We will use these in the flip flops or latches too. All right. Hope that was. I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. All right. See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.